In this video, we will go over the different investigator plotting windows and go through some of the basic features of each window. So I will go to patrol. You can access the blueback investigator plotting windows from the standard patrol windows menu. So hit the button here and you can open one of the blueback investigator windows. But an easier way is actually to go to the specific investigation you want to work with, right click on it, and say display in one of the windows. So we will kick off with the 2D crossplot window. So the first thing I want to cover is the data tree. This is the tree you see over here to the left. This data tree is common for all of the five different windows that you get with the investigator. And this is where we control something like coloring of the plot. We can color by V shale. So here we've got permeability versus porosity colored by V shale. In the latest release, we added this appearance by that is kind of a fourth dimension. So you can go in and decide uh, the sizes of the points by a fourth dimension. So in this case, depth. Let's toggle that off again. And then you can also do uh, filtering on the various discrete uh, items that we have in our investigation. So you see here we have wells, so we can filter on a couple of wells. We added facies, so we can filter on facies types as well. And zones. So in this case, we are only looking at these two wells for these two facies types for these two zones. So you see, the discrete filtering is very smooth in this product. The data tree is also where we keep filters that we make in the different plots. So here's a filter that has been applied. So this filter has been applied in a 2D cross plot. This is a one dimensional filter that has been applied in a histogram with the same data set. And we also keep the different regressions that we made. So this regression was made just within this filter. And then this other uh, regression was for the total data set. So we can take a few of the tools up here in the toolbar. We can add a legend. So that will show us, uh, for example, if we change the data sets, it will show us the data set that we're displaying. Let's call it by facies. That will can give us the facies codes. And go back to V shale, call it by V shale, and I can toggle the point, the color scale, as well. So the 2D cross plot is taking what we added as the first dimension as x-axis so you see that the first dimension here is porosity that is the x-axis and y-axis is permeability dimension number two but you can easily change that to one of the other continuous parameters that we added to this investigation with these two buttons here I can flip the axis very quickly by this button. I can split the screen by one of the uh, discrete parameters that we added to this investigation. So I can split this pore perm cross plot by facies and I can put the plots in whatever direction I, that I have. So here you see I've got the pore perm plots per sand, fine sand, coarse sand and so on. We've got different tools that will help you identify clusters. One of the tools are these histograms of the access data. So here you see the histogram of the permeability and the histogram of the porosity. We can flip those if we want to. Let's just untoggle those again. <coughs> and we've got other tools that will help you identify clusters. So first of all, we've got this contour data by so this will make a point density contour map so in this cross plot we can see we've got three main clusters of data we can also color the background by point density that's done by right clicking on one of the points 
and then go to show as point density. Let's just reduce the size of the point so you can do that directly from the plot by right clicking again on one of the points. So here you see we've called it the background by point density. Let's just go up in point size again and let's toggle the coloring off. Up here in, in the toolbar you also see that we can add different filters so I can go in and circle certain outliers or clusters with either rectangles or freehand or polygons very quickly like this and you see that filter that we just accessed now pops up in the data tree we can also go in and do regressions hit this button here and open the regression menu and toggle on what kind of regression you want. I want I'm gonna cover this regression menu in a later video and hit OK and here we've got a new regression. As I mentioned we can control the plotting style directly from the plot by right clicking on one of the points. We can control the point symbol and we control the point size. We can also control the window, so right click inside of the plot but not on a point and go to window settings style and we can color the background and the plot for example like this so we can also <coughs> color by well so you see here we've got seven wells in our investigation so we'll have to go to data set so data set colors by one common color but if you go and click again on one of the points and say color by well now the points will be colored by the individual wells so why that feature is here is because you can show different data sets in the same investigation so let's say that we've added a uh, 3D model property data set with the same properties then it's convenient to have the wells colored in the same color so you can compare it against the other data set that will be colored in some other color alright let's move on to the matrix window so again I right click on the same investigation and open up the investigation in the matrix plot window this window gives you all the possible 2D cross plots between all the continuous parameters that we added to our investigation so here you see permeability versus so let me scroll down a little bit versus porosity B shale versus porosity and permeability X and Y and so on all the combinations of 2D cross plots so the reason why we don't see all the 2D cross plots inside of the whole window is because a minimum size is by default applied you can go in right click on one of the cross plots and go to window settings and you can untoggle the enforced minimum size and that way we will have all the 2D cross plots squeezed inside of the window certain parameters are not uh, relevant for this plot and you can take them out of the plot by using this button here so we can go ahead and untoggle X and Y. We don't take the X and Y out of the data set we just take them out of this particular plot. So where you have porosity versus porosity, permeability versus permeability we can go in and toggle on the histogram. Again out here to the left you recognize the data tree so we can go in and color by different parameters and again the same kind of filtering as you saw in the crossplot window so in this window you can go in and assess the different parameters and visually check to see if you have some kind of some degree of correlation between uh, various uh, dimensions so it looks as if we've got v shale versus porosity there's some kind of correlation so I can go in and magnify that particular plot by double clicking on it that will 
magnify that particular plot and I double click to go back to the matrix plot. Another interesting button is this highlight data that will gray out all the data and then it will highlight the particular discrete parameter that you click on so you can highlight for example a well or a facies type or a uh, zone, specific zone using this button. We can apply a filter and this button here will eliminate the filtered out points from the cross plot. Alright, let's move on to the histogram window. Again, right click on the investigation and open up the histogram window. The histogram is a one-dimensional analysis tool. It takes up the uh, dimension number one as the parameter to do analysis on, but we can easily change that to one of the other parameters. Again, you see the data tree. We can call it by. We can go in and uh, display the histograms as lines and we can decide if we want it as color filled or not color filled. I can go in and color by discrete parameter. So now I'm coloring the porosity distribution here by the facies types. Let's untoggle shale and undefined. So when we color by a discrete, we can we can toggle the separate histograms per facies type. So now I see the porosity distribution per the different facies types. So let's toggle on the legend here. I can toggle on statistics as well for this plot. And down here in the statistics summary, we see a statistical extraction of porosity per the diff three different facies types. So min, max, delta, mean, median, and different percentiles. I can go in and add or take out different percentiles in the statistics. In the data tree for histograms, I can go in and toggle on the cumulative distribution functions as well. Let me untoggle that, go back and color by porosity. Another way of splitting these uh, this histogram per facies is again to use this split by discrete. So now I'm seeing the porosity distribution per facies types in these three individual plots. Alright, let's move on to the 3D plot, 3D axis plot. Right click, open up in the 3D axis plot. Again, we have the data tree, so we can color by different parameters. And again, it's picking up dimension 1, 2, and 3 as the 3 axis data, and you can easily go in and change what you want on the different axis. Here on the left hand side of the plot you see the possible 2D plots of the three input parameters. We can change that to a histogram of each of the three different inputs. Go back. If we just want to concentrate on the 3D axis plot we can double click and that will take up off that uh, 2D summary. We, also, we can also do cluster identification in the 3D cross plot, so we can go and toggle on the show as point density. And then we need to again reduce the point size to get some value out of this. So I'll go to 2, and here in the 3D cross plot you can see that the color by point density is revealing these clouds of points that makes it easy to identify clusters in this 3D cross plot and we can also go in and apply filters so we've got two specific filters for the 3D cross plot so this is the ellipsoid filter so this cloud coloring actually takes up a lot of graphics so let's untoggle that so we can actually manipulate this 3D filter so we can go in and separate different clusters using using this uh, ellipsoid filter. And then let's take the last window, the parallel coordinates window. So the idea of this window is 
that all the dimensions are plotted with the values on these vertical axes and then all the points all the individual points are connected between the different axes with lines and then the idea is where you see more or less parallel lines that will indicate that you have a potential correlation between the two variables so you can see here between permeability and v-shale we've got some degree of parallel lines here we can go in and toggle on facies for example to see if that discriminates so we can go in and see that the yellow lines there is some degree of correlation within the sand in this case but we also have lines all over the place that might indicate that we should go back and look at our facies interpretation within the sand maybe the sand is two different sand types also if you want to shuffle around these uh, variables you just grab them and shuffle them around like this so that was it for the windows a quick summary thank you very much for watching